Why is it so important for you to convince me slash prove to me that my experience or opinion is wrong? Melanated! Hey guys, it's Wahima, but just call me Wa. So today I wanted to talk about some of the comments and the naysayers and the things that happened to me as a content creator here on YouTube and as a person with an opinion. There's always someone who's trying to convince me or prove to me that my experience or opinions are wrong, whether I'm talking about feminism, dark skin, interracial dating, or what it's like to be a black woman in America. Being somebody on YouTube who gives their commentary on social issues and things that are important to her, I have opened myself up to attacks from people. I recently did a video with ForHarriet.com and I'm gonna link it up above. Five things a black woman should expect when dating interracially. Because I date interracially, that doesn't mean that I don't like black men. Why are not black women opening their horizons? There's no problem. Do black women feel inadequate when it comes to dating interracially? Why is this even a conversation? Why can't black women just go out and date? This is so stupid. And I often wonder why these people just don't get their own YouTube channels and start their own revolution. So my experience is different than yours. My opinion is different than yours. Isn't that what makes us all human and this is that, isn't that what adds the spice to life? There are a lot of black people who are super against me being a feminist. There's also this crazy idea that I'm not allowed to have duality. I'm not allowed to feel two things that may be seemingly conflicting at the same time. And I have a little secret. Just because I got some lights and a camera and I upload my opinions onto YouTube doesn't mean I think I'm better than you. It doesn't mean that I think that I know more than you. It's all very high school and I don't understand it. Wahima, they're just trolls. Keep moving, who cares what they think? It's not that I care what they think. They have to, it's like they're just itching, so they have to comment. Why? If I do watch content that I don't agree with, I don't go in their comment section trying to argue with them about it. If they've gotten this far to film a video about how much they don't like black people or how much Obama sucks, then like, okay. I just want to hear their opinion and keep it moving. I don't feel the need to try to teach them or prove to them or tell them the truth or whatever it is because me leaving a comment on someone's YouTube page isn't going to solve anything and isn't going to get them to think in any other manner. I try to be very open and listen to what these people have to say. But sometimes it's just nonsense to me and I'm just like, what are you talking about? How are you talking about an issue? that doesn't even pertain to you specifically, especially when it's a man telling me how my feminism is wrong. Or, or when it's a light-skinned man telling me that as a dark-skinned woman, I don't actually have any problems and I'm just making it up. <laughs> I'm just gonna read a couple of excerpts. So the first one trying to tell me about my dark skin. Why are you making dark skin such a big deal? Do you see white niggas making a big deal about them being white or the color of their skin? Now, I'm just gonna stop. There's a lot more, but then like after that sentence, I knew this person was a fool and just kept reading for my personal delight. I mean, this person was very adamant. They really felt like dark-skinned women and dark-skinned people who talk about colorism are just making it all up. And that, you know, everyone gets made fun of and I just let it get to me. I don't believe that there is any dark skin issue. I don't believe that you guys getting made fun of is any different than any other person getting made fun of. The next thing is somebody telling me about, um, he's, he commented on my uh, <laughs> slim pickings and me dealing with black men, which I will link above here as well. What you have stated is nothing more than atypical, mindless chatter which comes out of the mouth of black women. Ambition is a subjective word. I don't think it is. Usually when a black woman is saying that, she is mostly saying she wants a man to have a college degree earn a salary in which she feels he needs to be earning and has obtained material possession she feels he needs. Um, no, so there, there's that. What I'm talking about is somebody who always wants to better themselves. It doesn't necessarily mean that they make more money, but they keep learning and they keep growing and they someone who keeps moving forward. And then the next person put, Baby girl, you a nice person, but y'all women are just so stupid. That is why you need a man. Y'all think y'all know what you are talking about, but you don't know. That's why you make me sick. We talk to you because we don't listen. Stop with the black people shit. Stop kissing white people's ass. You need to shut the hell up. Black people are not Superman, and nobody wants your ugly ass, and that's about it, baby girl. You talk like you fine or something. That's cool to think that, but you see, the truth is, is you good people, but you talking crazy. All you, I can't even, I just can't even read anymore because I don't even think you guys understand what's happening. This man is trying to tell me that, like, I seem like a nice person, yet I'm ugly, but I don't know anything because I'm a woman, but he doesn't know how to spell, and I don't 
understand how that correlates. Why don't you have anything else better to do? If what I'm saying is true, how does that make you feel? What does it do for you? Does it make you feel bad and therefore you have to dispute it? Does it make you feel like you're not a part of the conversation? I mean, your day just must be so hard. Like your life must be so hard if you're constantly worrying about finding the facts to dispute someone else's truth. All right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or you would like to add to this conversation, please leave me a comment down below. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.